preacher, but I got joy because of after a while. Some of y'all not saying nothing because you happy. And happiness is based on happenings. But joy is based on my, watch this, internal connection, not my external collection. I got joy not because the car I drive and the clothes I wear. I got joy not because of the house I live in, but I got joy because of who I know. I wish I had somebody here who got joy tonight because of who you know, not what you have. And I got Jesus. When the going gets rough, I got Jesus. When the going gets tough, you, you need some joy. You need to adjust your attitude. Can I give you another one? When your faith goes on trial, number two, watch this, prepare for the process. I'm still in verse two. He says, when you fall into divers temptations, it's a process. And it's three things. Look at your neighbor and tell him, prepare for the process. It's three things about the process you need to know about trouble. Number one, they are definite. Because he says, not if, but when you fall. Boo-boo, don't you laugh at nobody else because their marriage is in trouble. When you fall. Don't you laugh at nobody because they're walking and you're driving. You could have an accident anytime. Anybody who tells you that if you come to Christ, you'll leave all your worries behind, they are either intentionally lying to you or they have not read the word of God. This, this teaching that when you're saved, you'll have all honey and no bees, all flowers and no trees. Can I tell y'all that ain't in the word of God? Somebody ought to help me. These folk around here preaching this stuff that if you reach a certain level of maturity that your troubles will disappear. It's like being in a spiritual Disneyland. Can I tell you that the believer who is not ready for trouble, you are in for the shock of your life. Because the word of God says many are the affliction of the righteous. The word of God says in this world you will have troubles but be of good cheer I've overcome the world the word of God says all who live godly lives will suffer persecution it's definite somebody it's definite but can I tell you not only are troubles definite they are disturbing they never come when you're looking for them he says when you fall and that word fall is the same word that uses uh, to describe the man. You remember that man who was on the Jericho Road? He was on his way from Jerusalem. He was on his way from church. And the word of God says he fell among thieves. He was on a religious road. He had been to church praising God and he failed among thieves he didn't plan it he just failed am I helping anybody uh, 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 how many times have you and I been on this road all was well and then we failed into trouble man I need some help maybe you've never been on that road but but somebody in here you've been on that road everything was all right BAM you got a doctor's report all was well BAM you got a pink slip all was well and a loved one who was doing all right went home to be with the Lord Somebody in here can agree with me, troubles don't make an appointment. Somebody here can agree with me, they're not in your tree or your blackberry or your palm pallet. Troubles don't uh, show up on your calendar. Have I got a witness? You rarely see it coming when you least expect. 
that pit. Trouble has a way of knocking you on your face and you don't know what it was that hit you. They are, they are disturbing. They, they don't make, if I could, if God would let me plan for it, I'd be all right. But, 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 but watch what James says. They're not only definite and disturbing, but you got to be aware because your troubles are going to be different. He, he says, he says, he says, when you fall into divers, Temptation. That word divers means polka dot. It, it means multicolored. Now don't think I'm crazy, y'all, but, but wouldn't it be nice if God would let us choose our trouble? I need some real folk in here. The rest of y'all come back Sunday. What, wouldn't it be nice if God would let us choose our trouble? But now, boo, God mixes. Our trouble. As a matter of fact, you need to stop telling folk what you would do if you were in their situation. Troubles are tailor-made. You, you can't go and get troubles off the rack. Troubles are tailor-made. What would touch me wouldn't bother some of you. And what would bother some of you wouldn't touch me because they are designed just for you. They are many colored. Troubles have a rainbow of their own. Somebody in here is dealing with the redness of disturbance. Something in your life has disturbed your peace. Somebody is dealing with the gray of doubt. You don't know what tomorrow holds. Am I making sense? Somebody in here is dealing with the blue of depression. You're down and out and somebody is still struggling with the blackness of sorrow. But can I tell you before you hang up on me that you got to accept life as a package deal. Y'all not hearing me. You can't take the good and throw away the bad. Job, sister Job said to Job, if I was you, I would curse God and die. But you know what Job said to her? Shall we not receive good and adversity from the Lord? Somebody ought to help me. Look at somebody and tell them you got to take life as a package deal. You got to take the good I need some help in here, y'all. You can't pick the positive and leave the negative. An electrician will tell you, I need some positive and some negative to get some light. A mechanic will tell you, I need some positive and some negative to get the battery working so the car will start. My mama will tell you, you can't just have desserts. You got to have desserts and vegetables. A cook will tell you, you got to have some sweet and some sour stuff. Life will tell you, you got to have some bitter and some sweet. I need somebody ups and some downs. Mountains and some valleys. Oh, sunshine and some rain. Some of y'all don't want nobody to know you've had trouble. So I just need three real folk in here who could say with me, I've had the package deal. I've had some good days. Oh, God. I've had some bad days. I've had both of them, but my good days. Pastor, if you've had bad days, why are you preaching like you preach? Why are you always shouting in the pulpit? Come here, let me tell you. My good days, oh, outweigh my bad days. 